Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the test for anions. In particular, sulfate ions, SO42-, carbonate ions, CO32-, and then the halide ions, Cl-, Br-, and I-. If we start off with the test for carbonates then, which are our CO32- ions, the first thing you need to do is take whatever your solution is and add an acid to it. So I'm going to take magnesium carbonate and add hydrochloric acid to it. What will happen here is the carbonate ion will react with the hydrochloric acid. It'll make whatever my salt is and give out carbon dioxide and water vapour. Now because carbon dioxide is a gas, you will see bubbling. However, that is not enough just to turn around and say you will see bubbles, therefore it's carbon dioxide. It needs to be confirmatory. So for example, you could actually have hydrogen. It might have just been adding magnesium to hydrochloric acid, giving you hydrogen gas. So what you need to do is take that gas and put it through lime water. If the lime water turns cloudy, you know it's a carbonate ion. If we move on to a sulfate ion, the first thing we want to do is add hydrochloric acid again. The reason this time we're doing that is because it acidifies it, helps the reaction to occur and it also makes sure there are no carbonates present, so we're not going to see any bubbling. As soon as we've done that, the next thing we do is we need to take barium chloride and add it to it. By adding that, it produces barium sulfate. So for example, when I take magnesium sulfate and react it with barium chloride, I get magnesium chloride and barium sulfate. If you get barium sulfate, you get a white precipitate, and that confirms that your sulfate is present. The final test you need to know is for the halides, and that is chlorine, bromine and iodine, and the test is the same for each. What you do is you start off by adding in your nitric acid this time, for the same reason as the sulfates, it acidifies it and ensures no carbonate ions are present. The second thing we do is we add silver nitrate. Now what happens here is whatever your halide, if you add silver nitrate to it, it will make silver chloride or silver bromide or silver iodide. Now, if you have a chloride, it will make a white precipitate. If you have a bromide and you make silver bromide, your precipitate will be cream. And then finally, if you have an iodide and you add silver nitrate, you'll get silver iodide and that will give you a yellow precipitate, as you can see in the bottom right here. So in summary, chlorides give you a white precipitate Bromides are cream precipitate, and iodides are yellow precipitate. Let's have a look at a few questions then, see what the examiner can ask you. So I've got a question here that says, an unknown solution was tested to find out what ions were present. When nitric acid was added to the solution, there was no change. But when the silver nitrate was added, a cream precipitate was formed. So number one, name the anion present in the solution. Number two, explain why it was important to add nitric acid to the solution first. Two marks for that. And then number three, another solution was known to contain either a sulfate or a carbonate ion. Describe a test to prove which ion was present. So pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So when you add nitric acid and then silver nitrate, if it goes cream, you know it's a halide, and therefore we need to remember which one is which. The second one, the cream one, that was our bromide ion. Then explain why it's important to add nitric acid first. If you remember, nitric acid, or adding any acid to it first, acidifies it, so you know the reaction is going to take place. And then also, why do we use it? To make sure there are no other ions present, for example, carbonate ions. On to question three. Another solution was known to contain either a sulfate or a carbonate ion. So what we could do here is to start off with adding hydrochloric acid. If it bubbles, you're pretty sure it's going to be a carbonate, but what you need to do is bubble it through lime water. So hydrochloric acid bubbles through lime water gets you one mark. If the lime water goes cloudy, it's a carbonate iron. And then what you do is you talk about what happens if it doesn't. Add in your barium chloride, 
and you should get a white precipitate. If you get a white precipitate, it proves you've got a sulfate. And that is everything there is to this video. I have got a review question for you, which says three bottles had their labels removed by accident. The label showed that the solution in the bottles were either sodium chloride, sodium bromide, or sodium iodide. Describe a test to find out which bottle is which. So again, what do you need to add first? Which acid? Then what do you add? Silver nitrate, and what are you gonna see if you have a chloride, a bromide, or an iodide? That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.